Welcome back everyone to episode 19 of our Control Ultimate Edition Let's Play series. Last episode we had gotten up to the fifth floor of containment and the Panopticon and we found Dylan's cell which was completely destroyed and our name was written in blood and apparently according to Emily Pope he has now turned himself into in the executive area um, and he thinks he's been infected by the hiss of, somehow. Um, but before we go back to the executive area w and meet him and Emily, we are going to help this poor guy who's on fridge duty. And this is a uh, little side quest here, so let's see what he has to say. Hey, what can I do? Oh, you're back. Oh, thank you, thank you. If, if I look away, I don't know what this thing will do. You have to get me out of here. The door can only be opened by the Panopticon supervisor. That's Langston, if he's still around. Langston. Yeah, I know him. I'll go ask him how to get you out. Please hurry. My eyes. They can't. They can't. Hey, calm down. Just focus. What's your name? Focus. Right. My, my, my name's Philip, and... I think I can hold on for a bit. It's just my eyes. My eyes hurt so much. Just hang on, Philip. Okay. Speak with Langston. I wonder, can we fast travel to Langston? He would be in security, right? Oh, that's the wrong way. Some of the security cameras aren't working. How do I get those fixed? Maintenance staff will repair any damaged systems once normal operations have received the service. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. There's someone named Philip up in a cell. He's watching a refrigerator and very rapidly losing it. Philip? Oh shit, I forgot about fridge duty. He's been in there for <laughs> over a day, I totally forgot. You forgot about him? There's a lot going on. The <laughs> hiss, the Benikoff TV. Considering the number of things I'm juggling, ma'am, I think it's- Listen, it's fine. We just need to get him out of there. He said you'd be able to open the cell door. Yeah, I can unlock it on my terminal. There. Done. Door. Open. But Philip can't just leave. The fridge is behaving erratically. Ocular contact is the only thing that seems to placate it. If we don't have someone in there watching it 24-7, people will die. I'll figure something out. I'm pretty good with these things. Being pretty good with altered items isn't standard bureau procedure, ma'am. He doesn't know us very well. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here, like always.
shit. Where's that orb? Okay, I think I need to fast travel up to four. can cleanse it, right? Philip? Shit. Employee incident. Incident in question occurred on blank and was brought to HR department attention by the internal security personnel who intervened. According to reports supported by security camera footage, Agent Filson? Philip Filson? Entered the staff kitchen with the intention of consuming his private meal, homemade sandwich cut diagonally and packed in a plastic container, but discovered the refrigerator had blanked his meal. Agent Filson began to kick the bureau own appliance as he expressed his frustration excuse me, frustration in a loud and profane manner. The behavior caused multiple staff members present to become alarmed. Security was alerted. Filson complied with security's commands to desist. Recommendation Agent Filson was reprimanded and suspended for the remainder of the ongoing work week. The review committee recommends one non-mandatory counseling session. So he has a history with this fridge. If I look What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, I don't think I was supposed to leave that. I was supposed to stare at it. What the hell? Like the board, but I can't understand it. Fuck.
I could... I could throw his own orbs at it. Shit. Oh my god, I fell through the freaking hole. <laughs> yeah, so after that, all that banging, eventually he opens up holes in the floor. Okay, well now I know I can grab those orbs. I think that'll do good damage to him. And I think I need to switch off of my spin and put my heavy pistol on. Uh, this one. Get her health up. <laughs> Hello? Jesse? Jesse? The fridge is doing something! Philip? <gasps> if I look away... Former. This sounds like the board, but I can't understand it. What the fuck? Get ready to evade. I was doing so well. I don't think I got hit once. I was doing so well. All right, we really got to look out for holes in the floor. Did it save my mods? Yeah, it did. you regardless this sounds like the board but I can't understand it Ooh, 
I'm trying to grab the damn orb. How come when I grab the orb, it grabs something else that I'm not even aiming at? Come on. Wait, there's no black pyramid here. The fridge seems fixed. Did fighting that thing off change something? Must have done something. Creepy ass pictures. Stop those theaters tonight. I can't believe I'm missing an Alex Casey movie for this. How'd it go? Where's Philip? Philip's gone. Something happened before I could get him out. <sighs> Poor Philip. He never did like fridge duty. <laughs> but if you're here, then who's watching the fridge? The fridge is fine now. I took care of it. You don't just take care of altered items. What did you do? I touched it and wound up in the astral plane. This thing was in there. It was huge, had one big eye, wasn't friendly. We've been getting reports from the astronauts lately about something fitting that description. The astral plane is usually connected to our world through objects of power, not altered items. If this thing is linking itself to altered items, then it's clearly powerful. This may happen again. Do you think that thing is what got Philip? Must have been. The Panopticon is a dangerous place. The agents all know the risks. But since you're some sort of altered item whisperer, I've got a list of others for you to corral. 
The hiss are causing containment breaches left, right, and center. Here, start with these. I'll see if there are any others missing while you're gone. My life just got a whole lot easier. Okay. Langston's Runaways. New quest. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here, like always. Um, let's view the details of this Langston's Runaways. We have a new hotline. So the former is like a <laughs> the former is like a rival to the board that's trying to get the items as well. Interesting. Um, I think we've seen that. Or no, we haven't. Arctic Queen. An Arctic Queen brand electric refrigerator model from the 18... Or, I'm sorry, the 1960s. No cooling functionality. The door is decorated with... Fran illustrations by blank. The illustrations cannot be removed from the item. All attempts have failed. The paper cannot be burned or torn. The item first came to the Bureau's attention after it survived the collapse of New York City's Grand Central Hotel, where it served as an appliance in an apartment rented by a man named Blank. It became the subject of local infamy after surviving the building collapse undamaged. Mr. Blank, who was out of the building at the time of the collapse, retained ownership of the item until 1974. The Bureau purchased the item through a false identity. New altered effect has been observed. Hmm. Numerous cell breaches on every level. Let's take a look at, um... Paper lantern, traffic light, hand chair, moving letters. Okay, I do want to come back here, but I really, um, I kind of want to speak with Emily quick are a bad before this episode is over. Because um, if I start this quest now, it's going to take us into the next episode. I kind of want to uh, resolve this thing with Emily. We also have five ability points. Levitation duration. Oh, wow. Press R3 well in the air to slam. Huh. Oh, I can make a new weapon called Charge. Look at that later. 
Um, quickly, let's go fast travel to Emily and see if Dylan is there too. Timeline of events. Emily Pope. Summary. To examine the invasion's timeline events for possible patterns in his behavior. Establishing a timeline is difficult at present because of lack of reliable communication between bureau sectors and staff. Preliminary models indicate ground zero of the invasion is located within the executive sector. Once it became possible to interview surviving personnel, pinpointing the exact location should be feasible. Other outstanding questions that a timeline may help answer. How did the Hiss get past the internal lockdown? How does his residence advance through space deliberately or uniformly? What is the ultimate what is their ultimate goal? The outside world? A cross dimensional destination? Refer to blank for full report. Damn, we have a lot of lore here. Linguistic ability. Analysis of the Hiss threat. Researchers were sent to transcribe the recursive chant repeated by the Hiss entities. In the interest of safety, this was done with the non-aggressive floating Hiss entities. However, no, distinct, no distinction between this repeating phrase and the one repeated by the more violent Hiss entities had been observed. What is the purpose of this repeating stirring of words? Is this how the Hiss corrupts individuals? Does the chant produce a physical effect? Is it a message or incantation? We were able to record a first-hand recitation of the chanting C, the corresponding audio record. Speech analysis. If we understand the Hiss to be a force based on vibration and resonance, then perhaps their incantation is an effort to express that resonance using human vocal cords and speech. Would there be differences in the incantation? were recited in a different language. The most common word used is want. Interestingly, every usage of the word is attributed to a you. You want to listen. You want this to be true. You must want these waves to drag you away. Are we the you? The his referring to? Does the his believe humanity possibly all non his life wants to join it? To be consumed by it? Is that its goal? The second most used words are through and time. Is this possible to his stating that they have arrived here or an indication of its age? There is clear intention to the words. Dismissing the incantation is nonsense. Some of the colleagues recommend it is beyond idiotic. All right, let's talk to Emily quick, and then we'll wrap up the episode. No, it's happening. After all these years, Dylan is here. Oh, but am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the Hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother. Or is he? Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. Okay. So we have to go to the upper level. Alright guys, well, I'm going to go ahead and cut this episode here. When we continue, we will go to the upper level, speak with Dylan... And then I also want to do that other mission called uh, Langston's Runaways. I want to do this as well. So when we return, and I want to do the Enemy Within as well. We have to do all three of these. So anyway, guys, when I see you on episode 20, that's what we will do.